Hello, students. Welcome back. It's Mrs. Wright here. I'm ready to read you our next story. This is lesson number five, and it's called Everywhere a Ba Ba. Hmm, does that give us any hints as to, as to what today's story is about? Before we begin our story, I am going to share with you our vocabulary words today. Today, we're going to start with the vocabulary word fleece. Fleece. The fleece blanket is soft and white. Fleece. That's wool. That's what it is. It's made of wool. Our next word is the word flock. A group of animals such as sheep or birds. So here's that word in a sentence. The flock of sheep is grazing in the pasture. The next word we have is the word responsibilities. Those are tasks or jobs a person has. For example, setting the table for dinner is one of my responsibilities at home. Another word today is the word shepherd, a person who takes care of sheep. The shepherd will make sure the sheep have a good pasture. And the last word for vocabulary today is the word stray, to wander away. Sheep sometimes stray from the flock. All right, today we're going to be learning a little bit about sheep. Now, remember in the song by Old MacDonald, there's a part that says, um, here are sheep, there are sheep, everywhere are sheep, sheep. All right, so we're going to go and read a few of this new story. Now, first of all, what sound does a sheep make? Bah. Oh, I have a little helper helping us. If you said ba ba, you are right. All right. Here we go. Let's get started with our story. I want you to listen for some interesting details about sheep. Old McDonald here. You may remember that I have some sheep on my farm. The sheep say ba ba here and ba ba there. Up the road on my neighbor's farm, you can hear ba ba everywhere because she has a large flock of sheep. Remember, flock means a group of animals. That's right, flock. Birds aren't the only animals that travel in flocks. Sheep do as well. By the way, you might have noticed something a little unusual about the word sheep. You can have one cow or a herd of cows. You can have one pig or a herd of pigs. You can have one chicken or a flock of chickens. However, you can have one sheep or a flock of sheep. Did you notice? You do not need to add the S, the S sound at the end of the word sheep. If you have more than one sheep, in other words, you would not say that my neighbor has a flock of sheeps. We just say she has a flock of sheep. A female sheep is called a ewe. Not to be confused with the word you, as in the sentence, you are in kindergarten. The word you, as in you, not me, and the word you, a female sheep, sound the same but are spelled differently and they mean totally different things. That's called a homophone. A male sheep is called a ram. As with most other farm animals, farmers do not keep many males in the flock. My neighbor has one or two rams and the rest of her flock is female. Oh, this is a baby sheep, and it is called lamb. The ewe often has twin lambs. If the ewe had twin lambs, how many lambs would you have? How many is twins? Two. When lambs are young, they feed on their mother's milk. Sometimes the ewe may not have enough milk for two lambs, so the farmer may need to feed one of the little lambs milk from a bottle. By now, you've learned that farmers raise animals for milk, eggs, and meat. 
Sheep are mammals like cows and pigs because they give birth to live young and they make milk to feed their babies. Some farmers raise sheep for milk, which they use to make cheese, and some people raise sheep for meat. Most farmers, however, raise sheep because of the wool that grows on their bodies. Wool is a very important material to people. Sheep's wool can be turned into yarn and woven into warm clothing or blankets. Can you find the person who is wearing a wool sweater in this picture? If you said the little boy in his white sweater, you are exactly right. Sheep lead pretty simple lives. They spend most of their time out in the field grazing. The farmer lets them out to graze every morning and leads them back to the safety of the pen at night. A pen is a small fenced area for sheep. Sheep generally stay with the flock where there is safety in numbers. Sheep do not have to worry about small animals like raccoons or skunks sneaking up and eating them. However, unlike cattle and pigs, sheep are not very large and they are certainly not very fast. So sheep farmers have to protect their sheep from coyotes and wolves or other large predators. Remember, predators are other animals that like to eat sheep. Every now and then, a sheep does stray from the flock usually in search of some tastier grass. Stray means to wander away. Sheep are valuable farm animals and they are worth a lot of money. So the farmer cannot afford to let them wander off. Why do you think sheep are valuable? Because they have wool. That's right. <laughs> I have my helper here today, my daughter. They, as they have their wool, exactly. My neighbor hires a shepherd to watch over her flock. The shepherd's job is to lead the sheep out to pasture and watch over them to make sure they do not wander off or get eaten by other animals. The shepherd's job brings certain responsibilities. Remember, those are tasks or job that a person has. The shepherd must stay alert and aware of predators. If a sheep starts to wander, the shepherds can catch the sheep with his crook a long wooden stick with a hook on the end and lead it back to the flock. Shepherds sometimes need help caring for large flocks. Dogs can be trained to help care for the sheep. Dogs who work with sheep are called sheep dogs. Sheep dogs run after sheep that try to wander away and chase them back to the flock. Sheep dogs are also important for chasing away any predators. The sheep eat grass and grow thick coats of fuzzy wool all year round. After the sheep have had time to grow long shaggy coats of wool, the farmer gets out her shearing clippers. Shearing clippers are like the electric razors a barber uses to cut hair. The farmers use the shearing clippers to cut the wool off all the sheep in her flock. She does this in the springtime when warm weather is coming and the sheep no longer need a thick coat of wool. By the time the winter comes around, again, the sheep will have grown new wool to keep them warm during the cold weather. The farmer knows how to cut off the wool in a way that does not hurt the animals the wool that she cuts off is called the fleece. When the farmer shears a sheep, the main part of the fleece can come off in one big piece. Sometimes while she's shearing the sheep, the farmers sing an old nursery rhyme you might remember. Let's see. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. One for my master, one for the dame, one for the little boy who lives down the lane. All right, that's the end of our story about sheep.
Now, just some quick answers for you. Give me the answers to these questions. What is the main idea of this story? If you said sheep, you are right. Who remembers what a baby sheep is called? Uh, a lamb. Yes, a lamb. What is a group of sheep called? Do you remember? If they're all together in a group, we call them a flock. flock. When a farmer shears a sheep, what is he cutting off or removing? The sheep's Fur. wool. Their wool. Good. And what is another word for wool? Do you remember? Feather. Nope. Fleece. Yeah, fleece. 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 All right, I'm going to go back to this picture right here. This is a picture of the ewe and the ram. Remember, we talked about a male sheep or a daddy sheep is the ram. ram. And the female sheep is the ewe. Now, how do sheep get the food that they need? The grass. Yes, the grass and the farmer. Now, how do lambs get the food that they need? How do the baby lambs get the food? If you said they drink their mother's milk, you are right. Now, why do farmers raise sheep? Do you remember? They are very valuable and they could drink or, or they could be raised for meat and wool. All right. Think for a minute about the responsibilities of the shepherd. What kind of responsibilities does the shepherd have? If you said that the shepherd takes the sheep to their pasture and looks out for them so they don't stray or takes care of them if they're sick, you are absolutely right. All right, our last question. Think for a minute. How are sheep like pigs? How are they different? Pause the video and whoever you're watching it with, talk with them about how sheep and pigs are the same and how they are different. Okay, it's time for our word work. Last part of our lesson is on the word responsibilities. Remember in the story we heard the word, the shepherd's job brings certain responsibilities. Say that word with me. Responsibilities. Let's clap that one out. That's a long one. Responsibilities. That's quite a few uh, syllables. Now, let's think for a minute about what their responsibilities are. Things that they're in charge of or things that they need to do. One of my responsibilities as your teacher is to help you become a better reader. Do you have any responsibilities at school? Pause the video and tell someone what your responsibilities are. Or maybe you have responsibilities at home. Share something with someone and try to use the word responsibilities. Yes. So you could say, one of my responsibilities is to blank. Pause the video and share your sentence. Don't forget to do this um, finish up in Seesaw. See you guys next time.